Maybe. Haha, <laughs> perfect shot. Hi, my name is KK, and I feel a little bit too confident about taking on the Black Widow again, but that is exactly what I'm about to go do after my success of taking on the Black Widow in the Undershed without too much of an issue. I uh, could have been lucky, but we're about to find out. I did change a few things, or do you have a few things that are going to be changed? Um, instead of using the Apex Predator, I am going to try doing the Assassin Mutation because this inflicts bleed. Oh, I just realized I don't have it up to level 3 yet. You know what, never mind. We'll leave it back to the Apex Predator. And I say leave it back to the Apex Predator, even though I forgot to use this last time, or I went to the wrong one. But I did bring some smoothies with me this time. Um, and I brought some flares with me because if this one under the toolbox goes decently well, uh, as well as it did with the Undershed one, I'm gonna hop in to the little cave that I have marked, finally. I know I've said that a few times, but hopefully for real though this time, because I really wanna get that raw science in tooth or teeth or whatever's down there. The only thing that sucks about going from this one to the other one is I do only have one human food because I only had one cookie bit. Uh, so I really need to keep an eye out for more of those uh, Oreos. I don't, can I say that? Am I allowed to say that, Obsidian? Uh, yeah, I just need to keep an eye out for more of the Oreos in the yard and collect on that a little bit. Just loading up on all my goodies. Same thing as last time, I'm gonna draw you out. Oh, two mants. Oh, you had no chance, what's hitting me? Why do the ants always gotta show up like right at the end of the fight? No! Oh, the fight was victorious and I was not. Oh. Um, I didn't set my spawn point nearby. Haha, okay. Oh, I'm such an idiot for that. Two super spider venom. That's awesome. Unfortunately, my termite armor got so freaking damaged in that fight, too. But that's fine? I'm just gonna go repair it. I am gonna come back and I'm gonna take this one out in the cave here finally. Oh God, I can't believe that just happened. I got so distracted by uh, winning and killing the Black Widow with so much ease thanks to spawning in two mans in that fight. That was incredible. Uh, that then I just didn't pay attention to anything else. All right, ready, set up, ready to go. I'm just gonna grab this Black Hawks burger. The only difference is I'm not gonna have the human food smoothie, so I'm not gonna get that extra damage resistance. But I think it should be fine. So I mean, I didn't have it on the, the last time I killed her in the undershed. I forgot to charge my headset and I just got the battery low warning. So now I just have a wire running across my face to have it plugged in. This is wonderful. I did bring these flares. I don't know if I talked about this, but I did bring these flares with me so I can have light down in that hole. Overall, I'm also feeling a lot more confident about just fighting her in general, which I imagine is a huge plus when doing this kind of thing. Oh, I got two mans up in here. All right, all right, not too bad. Not gonna lie, every time I take on these uh, Black Widows, my heart definitely starts racing. But not too bad, I think I have that fight down uh, somewhat. That on, I'll try and grab as many parts of you as I can. Two Super Venom. Okay, I mean, that's not terrible. Having two mants spawn in though, that's definitely a big help. And in this dark, uh, what are we gonna call this cave, it is definitely much harder to see. <laughs> Uh, with everything that was going on with all the effects and whatnot, especially from the mants and their bubbly science nonsense. I got a little difficult to see for a second, and I did get pretty worried that I was about to die. Feels good finally having this cleared out. I am going to double back through here to make sure I haven't missed anything. I'm not going to worry about the web sacks in this one because uh, this isn't really my goal right now. So my goal today is to explore around Castle Moldork. Uh, which, oh, looking the wrong way, which is right over there. But I do want to build a zip line from here to there uh, just to make getting up there quicker. The time wise of just uh, going down this one and then having to walk all the way across is getting pretty ridiculous and time consuming. So I do want a little bit of a quicker way. Plus, this will just kind of help me get across the yard if I just want to hop off somewhere in a timely manner, like to the pond. Excuse you, Wendell. Uh, so I do need to set up one of these. 
So I got that built. Uh, I'm gonna go on the other side and build another one. I do have everything with me to build one except for the six weed stems, which I'll just cut those down when I get over there. And I also bought stuff or brought stuff with me to make a large chest so that way I don't have to keep coming back and forth. I do hope this is enough silk rope. Uh, I can't remember how much I used on this one, but I feel like it was a full stack, maybe a full stack and some. So I really don't have much left to explore. I do know I have this whole area right here before this little upper pond section, the little pond section and this section behind it. I do know there's a black widow over here. Uh, I did not bring stuff to take on the black widow, so I probably won't be doing that. So it's telling me I got the connections blocked. Like I don't have clearance to get through right there. It's telling me it's blocked there too. Unfortunately, I can't see the tower because it's too far away. Should have put a mark on it. Okay. I guess it was a height thing, because I can get it from up here, which is fine. How many do I need? Oh, I read that backwards. I had enough. Just a little bit of my mind going wrong, as it do. Where's my chest? Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. And we're just going to put this right here. And now we're into some territory we have not been in yet. And I do know there is this raw science in this tree. What are you carrying? You mean to tell me I can't stand on this branch? Okay, well I stand on this one, so that is fine. That's one of my favorite things to do still. Well, I really appreciate you guys' help on that one. I'll be back for you later. So that was the upper layer other than the Black Widow, uh, I think, I hope. Uh, so I just have everything down here. And I think there's pond moss in here. Yeah, there is. Wish I would have remembered to grab my bubble helmet so I can stand her here a little longer and just get all this in one go. Mm -hmm. Don't really want to worry about spiny fleas right now. So, you know, just swim around and look for anything else underwater. All right, well, other than a bunch of pond moss, it doesn't really seem like there's anything in this water. There's apparently a watch over here I didn't get. So down here, oh, and a tooth. Oh man, if I take this way down, I'm not gonna be able to get back up though. You two are gonna wait until I'm done. Ooh, no, I can't resist. Gotta have it, gotta have it. This kind of worked out because I do have enough teeth to buy another one of these. And I do think hunger and thirst strain is very important. Specifically thirst, hunger is well maintained by my hog stopper. Oh, when did one of these get way over here? Is it just me or is this out of place? Did they add a bombardier beetle here? Oh, it's an orc. That makes sense. You can forget everything I said. I forgot orcs are a part of the game for me now. It's funny how I took everything with me to build the zip line over there and then I didn't even use it on my way back. But this is good. It's a good test. I don't see what was in the way of me putting it on the rock ground though. So there is like a minimal build way of getting up to the castle. It's like a four plank build, which I brought eight of them with me, but I'm not gonna carry them through here yet because I don't wanna like drop them or lose them in the water and not be able to fish them out. Because there is a bunch of quartzite through here and I just wanna gotta go through and grab all that first before I move on to building up to the castle. So I actually came across the way to build up much quicker than I realized. I haven't even gotten to the quartzite yet, but it is just right here. And I'm gonna leave this uncut just so you know how to get here in case you wanna do it. Because it's just unnecessary to build a bridge that long, in my opinion, when you can do it like this. And I am avoiding that mosquito that is after me, because there have been far too many. All right, you're in here, so I'll take out this mosquito. And now that you're gone. And continuing where we left off. Thank you. You just crouch right underneath here, and it's right here. I did do all eight, but I'm pretty sure you can land on this ledge right here. So you may be able to do it with just two. But I built all the way up just to be safe. And then I'm just going to hop up here and then you just get right here and you're up here. It's a very simple way up, but I'm going to go find this quartzite real quick. Here it is in all its glory and beauty. And I'll probably end up losing some. Let me 
go back into the options and turn on wide interaction just so I can possibly not drop any. All right, that worked. So I managed to get those without dropping any. And I do believe that raw science that's going off is in the window directly above. Oh, please don't tell me I can't get out of here. Which I mean, I guess it's fine. It's not that long of a way around. I just don't want to do it. And now we ascend the castle of the Modark. I am going to go ahead and come down here. Uh, yeah, do it my tough on. Just to open it up, I guess. Make sure you have your tuft equipped. Is there anything in here? Oh, Tooth's in here. Yeah, glad I came down here. And you can only open this door with Wendell. You do have to have Wendell with you to open this door. Nice. Ah, yes. The Moldy Hoagie. This is how you summon the Infected Broodmother. Which will be the last thing we do before moving on to New Game Plus. Oh, your poor aunt. You're in this pod all alone. You as well. Okay, cool. Yeah, so this is how you summon Director Spectre to fight him. I do not want to fight him because it will give me like the good ending when I complete the game. And I want to have both endings. But that's good. I'm glad I went ahead and came in here. And there's a way out somewhere. And this is also how you open this door that is uh, right on the edge of the pond. So I remember this is a button, but I don't remember what this button does. Do want to go ahead and grab this raw science. I don't quite remember exactly where it's at, so I'm about to take a chance. Okay, yeah, it's right here. And then maybe, hopefully, I can like get around here without having to drop all the way down. Oh, did that work? Just like that? Uh oh. Okay. I did not expect that to be so easy. Sounds like there's quite a few mosquitoes up here. Okay. And a burgle flag, which I do believe this is the last burgle flag. They really did do away with a lot of the, the flags throughout the yard, which is fine. You know, it's good to only have just the important ones. But there's a moth up here. And in case you're wondering, the best way to get it is to blast one of these bad boys at it. Probably not from down here. Yeah, not high up enough. We'll get up closer and try it again. I think that one went a little too far. Maybe? Haha! <laughs> Perfect shot. I don't know if it's actually possible to get up there. I don't think I've ever successfully done it. I mean, you could probably build from outside of the little pond and build up to it. But anyway, I think that is it. Other than that one tooth in the cage on my way down and the Black Widow, which maybe I'll just go do the Black Widow real quick. I gotta go back. Yeah, go back and get my build for it. Let me make sure to put this on because I almost jumped without it because that is what I do bashed. Hopefully I haven't missed anything. Actually, the best way to tell if I've missed anything would be the teeth because this should have been my last section for molars. I don't think they are anywhere else. So if I don't have all the molars, I'm going to have to look at a map. Yeah, all I can think of is that one gold tooth that's right there at the Black Widow. So I'm going to have to look up the rest of them. I'm coming for you, Black Widow! Okie dokie. I think I got all the spiderlings cleared out, so let's my button, get everything set up. Alright. Definitely got this down. Not even a problem. So I looked up a map of all the molars that are on the map, and right off the bat, I see three of them that I missed. One of them is right over here next to this wheelbarrow, which actually, now that I think about it, I did avoid this spot because of the wasps that were flying around over here. Ah, okay, I see it up there. Okay, so I am missing two regular molars and one milk molar. There is a molar I didn't get in the Brawny Boy bin. It's behind the two... Black Widows, which are actually now the only Black Widows I haven't killed yet. And then apparently there's one in the Undershed, which looks like it's a Mega Milk Molar that I haven't gotten. I cannot find where the last one is that I have not gotten. And also, I should be able to upgrade my Scythe now, all the way up to level 9. And then I'll feel more comfortable taking on the Black Widows in the Shed. Well, I'll probably, not in the Shed, in the Barney Boy Men. I'll probably still will try and drag one out and just do them one at a time, which was my initial plan. And while I'm waiting on the 
last of those jewels, I'm going to head over and grab this one Mega Milk Molder in the Undershed I did not get. I actually do see where it is at, and I do see how I have missed it. I just realized I successfully got rid of Wendell by leaving him down there, which kind of sucks, because I think that might mean I have to go do that now. I don't know, maybe I don't need Wendell to start that. Hopefully I don't. Oh, I'm just like running through everything. Really trying my hardest not to get into a single fight. It should be here. Oh, yeah, right there. Okay. I see marble way over there. I don't even want to go get it. Apparently I missed a collectible in this room. Glad I came back through here. I feel like I actually thoroughly searched that room too the first time and still didn't get it all. Hmm, actually, I wonder what else I'm missing. Cause I haven't been paying attention to this. Oh, I'm missing a time at Omnit. Spacer development and two miscellaneous. Yeah, that's not bad. Completely forgot about the statues. Yeah, all this stuff I am gonna worry about next time. Grasslands, oh, I, I know what that is. Yeah, so for all this missing stuff, I'm just gonna do it in one video. Maybe it'll be next time. I think I found it, I think I found the last one. According to the map I'm looking at, there is a spot right here. So this is pretty early on, something that I should have gotten, but I did not get. Ah, I see it. I see it up there. Feels like it's been so long since I've been over here. How did I never drop down here and grab this tooth? Because I know I've been in there. Ah, what a lovely view. I think this is a great place to go ahead and end this one. So, did I fight three Black Widows today? Did I do that all today? I think this is starting to run together, but I feel like I just did three Black Widows today. I think I did the toolbox, the little cave there, which I should have taken that flag down, so I need to go do that. And then this one over here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Then I explored this area. Uh, and I think that was it. I think that was all that was on my list. And I did come knock out a bunch of milk molars. I do only have the last one, which is in the Brawny Boy bin, which is behind the two Black Widows. So I'll probably do that next time. I think that's how I'll start next video. Maybe I'll just make it a habit to start each video by fighting a Black Widow from now on. I'm not actually going to do that. Or am I? <laughs> but next time I am going to go ahead and start clearing out some of this data stuff. I do know, or I don't know where these two are. I do know where the statues are. And then I'll also probably run around gathering a bunch of resources. There's actually raw science on that paint can I still haven't gotten, so I'll probably do that. I need to put that on my list. And depending on how long all that takes, we'll move on to something else. But we'll see. We'll just have to see. But I do want to make sure I include all that, all the gathering and whatnot in the video. Ah, but such a lovely view. Such a lovely view. Thank you so very much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. You can follow me on Twitter at DJKK. And for those of you who are wondering, an update on the dog. He is good. He did go through surgery. Um, everything went fine. He is in recovery. They haven't come home yet, though. They We went to a different state for surgery. I'm home by myself. Uh, but they'll be here tomorrow as of the time of me recording this. So it's going to be great to see them all again. But until next time, I'll see you.